I'm, I'm becoming that that guy that you and I grew up with, the guy that the tear flows when somebody throws yeah. that Native American where the tears coming down his eyes because that one, to watch it in action was just uh, heartbreaking as we all stood around. And I must compliment you because you actually called me while it was going on. So we, we knew what was going on. I much appreciate that. Well, we're all in this together. Um, you could lay it all on our doorstep and we'd fail. We could lay it all on your doorstep and you'd fail. Well, hey, so, we, we can't really clean up the sewer spills, but we correct, can point out what needs to be fixed. And we had, in fact, three of our members were reporting from the spot at that spill. Bobby McKenzie. Did they get out there? <laughs> turns out Bobby was there before you were. You called me because he got, went to pick up his child at the Y, and oh, what's this right over here? Yeah, it was very. It, again, it was very visible when we redirected flow to to another um, um, lift station it started taking on too much pressure, so we had to bring it back, and there it, there it expanded again. Um, and then that company was racing, that company that uh, fixes that big iron pipe was racing there. So we did our best to produce it, and then when they got there, I thought it was going to be a temporary fix. They said we, they had the ability to fix it permanently and did. Yeah, we're talking about the big one on Gornto Road. Correct, which that's was, one of the main lift stations in town. Well, it was 127,750 gallons. Uh, for comparison, 10,000 gallons is a major spill. Sure. Uh, we don't really know how much of that got in the river. We hope not much, because I hear that also finally got some back trucks out there. There were none there while Bobby McKenzie, Scotty, Jay were there reporting. Also, Emily Arnold reported when it finally ended at 8.15 p.m. And if I could make a suggestion to the city, if y'all put out a press release with that kind of information, it'd be great PR for the city. Otherwise, they're going to hear about it from us. Yeah, um, Shara did get one out. She got a uh, press release out um, that next, probably midday. She got it out sometime on Sunday, and she sent it to us at like 10 p.m. on the Sunday, which is good. However, that did not actually say exactly where it was. It didn't even mention the Withacoochee River, and it didn't say when it was fixed. I, I uh, like the fact that by Sunday you said it was testing um, pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. um, I canceled my Saturday on the river with my buddy Thomas Humphreys. I wonder what happened with that. Yep, we, uh, we, we passed on that. He went to a pond. He mm -hmm. said, if you want to join me in a pond, if we're going to cancel that. Mm -hmm. 